डियर फ्रेंड्स फोर हंड्रेड एटी थ्री डेज ए वॉर अ शॉर्ट अपडेट फ्रॉम द वॉर जोन विथ मिनिमम एनालिसिस फ्रॉम माई साइड लेट अस सी वॉट आई एस डब्ल्यू हैज टू सम अप वॉट हैपन इन लास्ट ट्वेंटी फोर आवर्स द यूक्रेनियन काउंटर ऑफेंसिव इन वेस्ट दो नेस्क एज वेल एस्ट वेस्ट जापोरिजिया कंटिन्यूज एंड ऑल्सो ऑन बाखमुथ फ्लैंक्स वाइल इन क्रिमिना डायरेक्शन दैट इज इन नॉर्थ द रशियन फेडरेशन आर्मी has increased its intensity against ukrainian army coming to particulars in south ukrainian army entered pyati khatki and further tried to break through towards zherebyanki but later retreated to original position ukrainian army carried out attack on robatin verbov line as well as on rimikov salient but without any success it is bringing reinforcements in orikho gulia pol mali sherpok tokmachka and other directions that means it is still continuing its counter offensive and planning for future attacks in north on liman krimina line ukrainian army attacked serebryansk forest and tried to break through towards dibrovo and south of outskirts of krimina but without any success while russian army moved towards torsky salient recaptured south forest of krimina the general staff of ukrainian army have said that the russian army is only 2 kilometers from outskirt of liman ukrainian army has retreated behind oskil river in east on marika front the russian army made some gains from the eastern side inside the city however south of it which they had moved last 2 to 3 days earlier remains stagnant on bakhmut the ukrainian army which is continuing its attack on both the flanks north and south since 10th may have lost steam it seems as they have hardly gained anything worth in their aim to surround bakhmut that is in nutshell the overall scenario from the ground and as far as interdiction and war of attrition it is continuing and russian leaders have said that they are ready to engage even nato forces in case they intervene in the war physically and in the meantime belarus has confirmed that it has changed its constitution to renounce its neutrality and non nuclear status that means it has become the latest nuclear powered nation in the world in the meantime the global powers realignment and emergence of regional powers are continuing and positively it seems that bipolar or single polar world is going to be history soon could see ukrainian war and that's all from my side today 